Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I want to share an experience we had here at the shop yesterday. A gentleman brought in his 2006 soft tail and he had an issue at 70 miles per hour. Now the bike had 74,000 miles. He loves to ride on the highway, loves going up and down the East Coast and traveling and visiting family. Well, he said the bike runs great, except at 70 miles an hour. He'll be traveling along and he'll get to 70 and hold it there on the highway and it will act up. Now he can go through it and go up to 80 and be fine. And he can go down to 65, 60 and he'll be fine. But at 70, acting up and he wanted to know what's up. So we brought the bike in and the first thing we do is check the speedometer for the diagnostic codes because that can kind of point us in the right direction. Sure enough, he had a historic code. Now, there are two types of codes when you're checking your speedometer. A current code means the engine light's on and it's not going off and you've got a code you need to take care of at the moment. Historic code means that something happened in the past and maybe will point you in the direction to a possible problem that may come back. Well, he had a historic code and it was P0122. Throttle position sensor, open and low. Now, this could be the issue and could not, but it's something to look into. So we put his motorcycle on the dyno, hooked up everything and monitored the throttle position sensor. And sure enough, when we got to 70 miles an hour and just holding it, the position percentage would go 7.7, 8.8, 7.7, 8.8. 8 .8. It was confused. And if it's confused, it's telling the ECM, well, I need this fuel. No, I don't need it. I need this fuel. I need this timing. I don't need this time. Confusing the ECM will confuse the bike and it will jerk. So we took it off, replaced the throttle position sensor. I wanted to show you where this is located on your motorcycle and kind of how it works. All right, here's the throttle position sensor we took off. It's got a half moon type of setup and it rotates. Now, you see how wobbly this thing is? Yeah, kind of worn out after 74,000 miles. Here's one on a 2013. Now, these are T20 Torx. We take it off and it has a matching design to it and they match each other. What happens is, is your throttle opens and the half moon moves. So mechanically, this moves, which moves the electronic piece, which tells the ECM to work and how, what position your throttle is in to give the correct fuel and ignition on it. So this can wear just from going back and forth and back and forth and holding at one position for 74,000 miles. Now, this is on a cable driven on a soft tail. It can happen also on the electronic here on a touring machine, but it's a lot different. Most of the issues we have with this type of throttle is the connection here on these terminals. They get loose and it, the jiggling of the vibration of the motorcycle can kind of give it a bad signal on it. But internally, we can take this apart. If you've never seen the inside one of these, two things can happen. One, these are plastic, all right? So as this moves, sometimes the plastic can take a tooth off or whatever and so you're going along and all of a sudden it skips a beat and this can be the issue but i also wanted to show you see this is the same thing we have the same type of sensor in here that tells what the throttle is doing to the ecm back to the ecm and here's a sportster same thing so if your motorcycle is possibly showing this type of problem where it runs fine everywhere except one place and you can go through it and sometimes this can also be shown at idle. Bike that has a lot of miles, let's say over 50,000 miles and your bike has been running great and then all of a sudden at idle it just doesn't seem to be idling correctly. It skips a beat or whatever. Your dealership can put it on the dyno and watch the throttle position sensor or they can actually put it on digital tech in their shop and just watch it and see what the throttle position sensor is doing. If it's zero all the time with the cable drawn, great. On the electronic one, it'll probably be 5.5, but they'll watch it and see how consistent it is. If it starts going wavering all over the place from zero to three, zero to five or whatever, throttle position sensor. Just wanted to share with you some kind of diagnostics that you could possibly check with your speedometer. Now, remember, historic doesn't mean that it's the current, that it is the problem. It means it 
did happen in the past, but it at least points you in the right direction. And I wanted to explain how a throttle position sensor works on your bike. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.